Uh, if we weren't siblings, we could get married. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, don't brush me off like that. This pretty girl has been saying that for over 10 years now. I'm tired of hearing that. She has a case of severe brother complex. <laughs>
wants to actually marry me. But there's no way I can sign the marriage certificate because to me, she's still my sister, even though we're not related by blood. Marriage is impossible. I've changed your diapers and even fed you milk with a baby bottle, you know. That's quite the open relationship. Is that how you see it? I gave the SOS to my parents. They ought to save me from Arimi's shenanigans. Well, that's not a bad thing. To be honest, I don't think you'll find a better girl than Arimi. I can't argue with that. Arimi has been making persistent appeals to marry me. The level of annoyance is incomparable to what it used to be! What am I supposed to do? You're not eating? Let me have some then. Hey, don't take it without my permission! <laughs> I told you so. Did your sister mess up this time? I know it's rude, but it tastes pretty bad. It's always like this. It looks good, but it doesn't taste that great. You were eating this every day? Yeah, but no matter how many times I eat it, I can't get used to this taste. Huh, that's called love. What? No way. I'm just eating it because she goes out of her way to make it for me. That's love. Usually people would say, I can't eat this. You don't have to cook anymore. Whether it's siblings, parents, or lovers. You think? Yeah, that's how bad this tastes. This is love? And not brotherly love? I decided to move out. I couldn't handle my sister's proposals and simply didn't want to think about it anymore. My sister held a strong objection towards it, so I moved out when she was at school. It's so quiet when living alone. Why is it so cold with the heater on? Oh, I was warmer because Arimi would always stick to me like glue. Now I tie my own tie and buy my own meals at a convenience store. I was reminiscing on how Arimi took care of me before. It's been a month since living by yourself. How is it? It's alright. I'm a little busy at work right now, so when things settle down, let's go visit the graves of my birth parents together. Yeah, of course. They'll be very happy. Um... How's Arimi doing? She's doing too well. It's been a pain. She almost blew up the kitchen last time. Blew up? She really wants to get better at cooking. Could it be me? Through the past month, I've begun to understand just how good a woman Arimi is. She's a bit of a pushover, but if I were to make her my wife, the whole world would envy me. I'll give Arimi a call. <laughs> I... it's me. I'm sorry, this is the wrong number. No, it's your brother. Well, we're not blood relatives, but... If you're my brother, you should be able to mention ten things you like about me. Go on. Huh? Within ten seconds, please. Ten. Nine. Uh, um, the pretty face, the devotion of packing me lunch every day. Why am I being so honest? Stop laughing! This is embarrassing for me, too. I can't even begin to describe what I like about you, Akira. Words aren't enough to express my feelings. This is how much I like you. <sighs> but why? I'm not even that good of a guy. I told you already. I like you so much that words aren't enough to express why. Maybe I wasn't able to feel for Arimi. Most of these sweet, bitter feelings were toward my sister. Can you give me some more time? Let me think about it. Take your time. I'll wait for you until I turn into a grandma. That day, there was a packed meal left hanging on my apartment doorknob. It's gotten a bit better, but still not great. It'll be 10 years before I get a beautiful wife who's bad at cooking. <laughs>